how many total triangles are there in figure 1 and figure 2 given below so simple question there are two figures given to us figure 1 and figure 2 we are required to find out the total triangles in these two figures and yeah op options have not been given but i can just take your answers as the different options here okay and i'm sure we'll easily get at least four options so let me just uh, take up different options that you have given here i think one answer option that i can see one, one answer that i can see here is 12 plus 16 so 12 plus 16 will make it 28 okay then i think many of you have got 43 as the answer right uh, 16 plus 27 that's what i could see so 43 is one answer option then uh yeah 16 and 25 so 16 and 25 makes it 41 that's the third option option four i'm just looking at your responses here right 16 and 27 16 and 26 16 and 26 makes it 42 yeah so 41 42 43 28 option five option five 16 and 30 so that makes it 46 16 and 30 makes it 46 so I think the common answer for most common answer for first figure is 16 right 16 16 16 and 16 but in the second figure there's a lot of confusion right is it 27 25 26 30 then yeah I think somebody has marked 36 is the answer the breakup is not given but 36 is also one of the answer options so that's the sixth option uh, Nilab has got 39 so that's option number seven then we have uh, yeah 39 45 45 is not there in the list yeah so 45 is option number eight yeah then 40 okay one of you have got 40 so 40 is option 9 breakup is not given for these options here and at least one more option so that we make it 10 41 41 is there in the list already 42 is there in the list already uh, 43 is also there in the list 72 Palash has got 72 okay that's a big number right no way close to what most of you have got and then 44 is also there in the list okay so my choices are increasing right I'm just, and I don't have any more space to collect more responses but maybe just one more let's see if you have got any other variety for me uh, 29 yeah somebody's got 29 so we can take 29 as the 12th option and 37 is also there so 29 and then 37 and many other answers there but yeah we'll, we'll close it here so 10 or 12 options 12 options maybe the correct answer is none of these so that can be taken as a 13th option but let's go and count it up right so these are the options if anybody is confused these are the answer options that we have we usually get only four but because of your talent here we have got 12 options right so you have given me options for three questions at least three questions here right four times three is twelve now let's do the counting so we have discussed how to count you know what's the easiest way to count in such cases what do we do just just use different uh, uh, i mean you just use the smallest sections in the given figure and then count all the possible ones like for example let's say this is like a b c d e f g h what have we done here each part each of the smallest parts has it has been named it has been lettered so we, you know there are total eight parts eight smallest parts a b c d e f g h now what do we have to count how many total triangles so count the triangles here in figure one so first of all a is a triangle you know each small part here is a triangle in fact right so straight you can say there are eight triangles small triangles are all eight b is a triangle c is a triangle d is a triangle e f g h okay so eight such triangles then go for combinations so maybe a combination of two two parts give you a triangle right so see ha huh, ab will give you a triangle a and b together will make a triangle so ab is one triangle then bc bc is bc a triangle no bc becomes a rectangle but cd is a triangle so cd is a triangle then similarly ef is a triangle right and then we have gh which is a triangle so how many triangles have you got so far uh, a to h is eight and then four twelve any more triangles there uh other than these 12 just think about it will there be any more triangles uh no more triangles see we have used smallest units single units we have also used double units a b 
E D F you know sorry A B C D E F G H now go for three units will a combination of three units give a triangle no see these are all all the units understand that each of the units here is symmetric right each unit is same it's like a triangle so combination of three triangles will not give you a triangle like A B C will it give you a triangle no C D E will it give you a triangle no so three units is not possible four units combination of four units will that give you a triangle uh, just look at it combination of four units yeah I think combination of four units gives you a triangle like A B C D is a triangle if I combine A B C D I get this big right angle triangle so A B C D is a triangle similarly I think E F G H is another triangle E F G H is one triangle and then if, see, if A B C D is triangle E F G H is triangle then C D E F is also a triangle right so C D E F and uh, G H A B G H A B that is it I think we don't get any more triangles for four units we'll get only four triangles A B C D is a triangle this half it's like you know uh, the top right then the bottom left again top left and the bottom right each of this is a triangle right then combination of five units will not give a triangle combination of six will not give a triangle seven eight also is ruled out so I think total there are 16 triangles one two three four five six seven eight plus 4 12 plus 4 16 so total figure 1 has got 16 triangles right so remember easy to count it this way always generally what I've seen is many students try to count it uh, you know counted using uh, by, by overlapping like for example uh, you know they say first triangle second one third one and after you have done for 70 triangles then you get confused whether it has been counted or not like if I've already counted this one you don't know you're getting it so this is one way which is followed but I think it's a waste of time easiest thing to do is to number each part and then go by this kind of a calculation 16 yeah there's also a shortcut in such a figure right you you can do this always count the number of unit triangles multiply by 2 like for example how many unit triangles are there a b c d e f g h right 8 8 into 2 16 is one shortcut given there but applicable only for such type of a figure right not always inside a rectangle when you have got all these cuts right suppose there are more cuts made like like for example if there's one more cut made here like this just imagine right so number of unit triangles will increase by 2 so then it is 10 then you can say 10 into 2 20 one more cut is made like this the number of cuts will increase by two more right so it becomes 12 12 into 24 so that way you can do right number of unit triangles into two so eight unit triangles multiplied by two multiplied by two that's the logic right to get the total number of triangles 16 but like i said shortcut always comes with conditions right the star mark indicates conditions apply so you have to remember the type of figure the type of figure as again this eight into two is is applicable only for triangles suppose is asking number of rectangles then this technique will not work then this formula may not work right some other formula has to be used so there's always a limitation with the formula so don't really depend on that and easy to count 16 triangles now go for the second figure first figure is done let's now count the number of triangles in the second figure clearly the second figure will have more than 16 triangles I mean you know if I have to eliminate I can straight eliminate option 1 28 is not the answer let's let's do the counting so here again instead of wasting our time in you know mapping all the triangles let's let's number it a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o and p yeah so how many unit triangles see again it's about triangle right so each unit here is a is, is a triangle right so i can directly write unit triangles number of unit triangles are how many a to p a to p right a to p are how many 16 16 triangles so straight 16 triangles here itself yeah or simple 1 plus 3 4 plus 5 9 plus 7 16 right 16 total unit triangles now you have to go for combinations right so unit triangles are 16 can you can you club two units to get a triangle no see two triangles cannot be clubbed to get another triangle in, in this kind of a figure right or even otherwise two triangles will not give you a third triangle when you join two triangles you'll not get a third triangle you're able to follow so number of triangles formed by two units 
is zero. That's going to be zero. It it'll only give you parallelograms, rhombus, or or quadrilaterals for that matter, right? It won't give you a triangle. Then uh, will combining three units give you a triangle? No. Combining combination of three units also will not give you a triangle. It will only give you parallelograms when you combine three three units, right? Like for example, JKL are three triangles, but that's like a trapezium. I mean, it's not a parallelogram. Trapezium. MNO is a trapezium. KLM is a trapezium or for that matter GHM is a trapezium. So three units also will not give you. Four units, yeah, I think four units will give you triangles. If you combine four units, you get triangles. Like ABCD is a triangle, right? But again, when you're counting four units, go in a flow. Don't randomly count. ABCD is one triangle, INOP is one triangle. That way, if you count, it will be difficult. Go in a way, in a fashion that you don't miss out on anything. Right? You say ABCD is one, then suddenly you say GLMN is one, then you say INOP is the third one. You are lost. You won't be able to count it properly. So just go in a step by step manner. Step by step as in go in a flow, either from top to bottom or bottom to top or from left to right, right to left, and so on. So how many triangles that can be formed using four small triangles here? So ABCD, let's go from top to down. ABCD is one. So ABCD. Now, if you have used ABCD, then come to the next. See, first row and second row have been used. Now, use second and third. In the second and third rows, meaning this section, second and third rows, how many triangles can be formed using four triangles? I think BEFG is one. So, BEFG, BEFG, then DGHI, DGHI, D or GDHI, whatever. Order doesn't really matter, right? GDHI is one. Anything else? No, I think only two can be formed. You cannot form anything else. Yeah, then go in the third and the fourth row. In the third and fourth row, there will be three such triangles. I mean, E, J, K, L, E, J, K, L, E, J, K, L, then G, L, M, N, G, L, M, N, then we'll have I, N, O, P, I, N, O, P, right? So, how many we have got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anything else? Just, just look at it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, uh, D, G, H, I, yeah. Uh, e, J, K, L, G, L, M, N, uh, I, N, O, P, I, N, O, P. Have we missed anything? No. Yeah, I think these are the only ones using four units, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six we have got. Yeah. Then see five units. If five units give you any triangle, five units will not give you a triangle, right? Like you cannot use five. Or can you use six? No. Seven, I think, will give you triangles. Combination of seven units. Like I can use first three rows. How many triangles? Okay, not even seven. In fact, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, not even eight. Nine. You're getting it? If I use nine units, I'll get a triangle. See, four is done. Five, you know, will not give you a triangle. Five units will not give you a triangle. Five units will make it a parallelogram again. Six units. Will six units give you a triangle? No. Yes or no? Seven, no. Eight, no. Nine will give you a triangle. Nine will give you a triangle. Right? I'll tell you how to arrive at this one, four, nine also. That's also very easy to, I mean, that's an easy technique to remember. But let's first count all the nine units. So what are triangles made up of nine units? I think this top three rows. One plus three plus five nine units then this is one triangle this is the third one yeah so let me just write down a b c d e f g h i is one then this section understand this section so that is like b e f g j k l m n yeah B E F G J K L M N. Then this section. Yeah, that will be like uh, D G H I L M N O P. Yeah, L M N O P. Okay. And that's it. I think we'll get only three. One, two, three. I somehow sense that four units should give you one more. Four units, why do we get only six? It should give you seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Oh, I think we missed on one triangle here. Did we count this one? I'm, I'm just using a different color to highlight that. You see, this one has not been considered, right, in the four unit triangles. FGHM, yeah. So there's one more, by the way. Four units, I, I'll, I'll write it here. FGHM, the inverted triangle. Usually this is what gets missed, the inverted triangle, inverted four unit triangle, right, FGHM. Sorry. Yeah, FGHM. Yeah, so I think four units is done. We have got nine units done. And then how many so far? 16 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 16 plus 7, 23. 23 plus 3, 26. And then I think after nine units, the only thing that you have is the biggest triangle, which is made up of total how many units? 1 plus 3, 4 plus 5, 9 plus 7, 16, right? So the biggest triangle, which is a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. You don't have to write this in the exam. You will know that it will be A to P. But yeah, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, uh, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So I think total comes out to be what? 16 plus 7, which is 23. 23 plus 3, 26. 26 plus 1, 27. So the total is 27. In figure 2, we have got 27 triangles. So what is the total? 16 plus 27, 43. So 43 is the correct answer. Option 2, 43 is the correct answer. Now before we close this, let me explain you one important point here. How do you decide how many units will give you triangles? Remember, if you observe, what are the different types of units that we have used? Different quantity of units that we have used? See, these are all unit triangles, single, single units. These are all four, four units. Four units, right? I mean, if I just put the numbers, you'll understand what I'm hinting towards. Right, this also is a four unit triangle. Then these are all nine unit triangles, nines, right? And then this is 16. So what do you observe? All these are perfect squares, 1, 4, 9, 16. So if the next triangle has to be there, it has to be with 25. I mean, like, like for example, if this figure is extended, if this figure is further extended, you will get more of 16 unit triangles. And then only one final 25 unit triangle, then 36 unit triangle and so on. Triangles made up of 36 units and so on. So if you observe, all these are perfect squares. So don't get confused, right? Whether 5 units will make it or not, 6 will make it or not, 7 will make it or not. No. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49 and so on. Okay? So that way if you can remember how many 4 unit triangles will be there, how many 9 unit triangles will be there, you can maybe directly get the answer also. But that again changes as the number of rows increase. Yeah? So shortcut and all can be made up but it will be like very very limited, right? And there will be a lot of conditions applicable there. So don't depend too much on that. Just put the figure and count. Yeah. Anyway, the final answer is 16 plus 27, 43, which is option 2.